Okay, year eight, we're going to look at something called best buys. And this is part of your percentages and financial math topic. So best buys, well, if you're looking at comparing some items, you want to know which one is the best value. So this is a really important everyday skill. Now, how do you compare items? You can either compare the amount of product you're getting per dollar, or you can compare the cost per unit. So you might get the cost per gram or the cost per kilogram. Uh, now this uh, idea is also seen in the supermarkets because you'll see what we call unit pricing on the price ticker. So next time you go to the supermarket, just have a look at the unit pricing they show you on the sticker. And you'll see an example of that in the next example. Okay, so we've got three brands of product here uh, of corn chips and you've got to decide which one is the best value cruncho brand hombre brand or mexicana brand the question says calculate the amount of product per dollar okay per dollar so that means you've got to find out how much one dollar um, how much you're getting for one dollar of the item so let's have a look so we'll start off with uh, the first one. Now I want to calculate what I'm getting for one dollar of the Cruncho brand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by the amount. So if I divide by one dollar and two cents, and now I've got to do the same thing for the amount here. One dollar, one point oh two. Now that gives me. Now on your calculator you're going to work out fifty divided by 1.02. Okay, so that's 49.02 cents. So that means you get 49.02 cents for, well, the other thing we haven't done yet is what is $1.02 divided by $1.02? It's just gonna be $1. And technically, I shouldn't have the dollar symbol there because I've already got one. Okay, so for now, that's not grams, is it? Sorry, that's not cents. That is grams. Bit silly. Okay, so one dollar will buy me forty-nine point zero two grams for Cruncho. Now, what about Hombre? So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to divide by the amount in dollars. So 2.20, and I'll do the same thing over here, divide by 2.20. Now, on your calculator, let's work out what is 125 divided by 2.20. You get 56.82 to two decimal places. So 56.82. Two, and that should be grams for now. What's 2.20 divided by 2.20? It's one, isn't it? So one dollar. So one dollar will buy me 56.82 grams. And let's do the last one now. Same step as before. I divide by the amount in dollars. So 4.81. Do the same thing over here. 4.81. Okay, so now work out what. 200 divided by 4.81 is. And what do you get? You get 41.58. And that's grams. How do you know it's grams? Because there's the grams for the first calculation. Now, for well, what's 4.81 divided by 4.81? That is one. So that's one dollar. So you can see here I get, for the Mexicana brand, I get uh, 41.58 grams for a dollar, 56.82 grams for a dollar for the Hombre brand, and 49.02 grams for a dollar for the Cruncho brand. So clearly, I'm getting more grams of corn chips, aren't I, for one dollar for the Hombre brand. So what I would say is Hombre is the best buy. Hombre is the best buy.
Okay. Now let's have a look at the next example. Okay, now here we go. We've got um, three different brands of coffee. This time the question says work out the cost per unit. Now per unit means we've got to work out the cost per gram in this case, not per dollar, per unit. So per gram. Okay, now how am I going to get one gram out of this? Well, if I divide the 200 by 200, I'm going to get one, aren't I? Divide by 200 and then do the same thing here, divide by 200. So now, two, what's 200 divided by 200? It's one, isn't it? So you get one gram, right? Costs, how much? Let's work it out. 6.10 divided by 200, which is naught point zero three dollars Okay, uh, that's to two decimal places. Or if you wanted to uh, do this in cents, um, that would be 3.05 cents. Now, how do you get the uh, the answer in cents? Well, six dollars ten is just six hundred and ten cents. So, if you find it easier in a sense, you go six hundred and ten divided by two hundred. That'll give you three point zero five. Okay, so if you want to do the calculation in cents, you can also do that. That's what you'll put into your calculator if you want to use the cents. Okay, now, next. Okay, now the Kenyan brand, we want to work out how much one gram costs. So again, I'm just going to divide by 375 and then divide by 375. I'll work that out. So what are you going to get? Okay, so get your calculator out and well, the first part should be easy. We're just going to get one gram, aren't we? 375 divided by 375 is one gram. So how much of that costs? Let's work it out. $11.17 divided by 375 equals, well, in dollars, you're going to get zero point now to one decimal place it's actually going to be the same now so we can see a problem here it's actually going to be easier to tell the best value if we use the cents so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to change this to cents so that means i'll get um so a little i'll put a little arrow here so the to Convert this to cents times by 100. So that's how many cents, right, divided by 375. Okay, so convert convert the dollars to cents by multiplying by 100. You get 1,117 cents. Okay. And that'll give you... Uh, 2.98 okay so that's that's a more useful answer isn't it so one gram costs 2.98 cents okay alternatively you could have just kept this in dollars and then multiplied your answer on the calculator by 100 to convert it to cents okay now what about the the last bit here okay different color this time now we want one gram, so I'm going to divide by the weight. So divide by 425. Divide by 425. Okay, so it's going to give me one gram. Costs. Now, work it out. You can go $12.60 divided by 
You're going to get 0 0.029 or 0 0.03 again. So times by 100 to convert it to cents. So I'm going to put down um, so on your calculator this is where you're going to get 0 point to two decimal places again it's, it's a problem isn't it because it, it looks like they're all costing the same right so multiply your answer on the calculator by 100 and you're going to get 2.96 cents okay Okay, there we go. So, one gram costs three dollars and five cents for the espresso. One gram costs two dollars uh, two point nine eight cents for the Kenyan brand. One gram costs two point nine six cents. So, obviously, this is the cheapest, isn't it? That's the cheapest for one gram. So, the Americana brand is the best buy. So, Americana is the best buy now in the exercise if it doesn't specify to calculate one gram or one dollar then the choice is yours so there's two different methods you find the cost per unit which is like per gram or per liter or something or you can find the cost per dollar the choice is yours if the question doesn't specify